The Laundry Alternative, Pasidan, our newest motto. It's an old school agitator washer. This washer was inspired on a Maytag ringer, on a vintage Maytag ringer. Because many of our customers have been complaining that modern washing machines don't use enough water, that they're limited to automatic water level detectors and not always they can get great results. So with this washer, everything is manual. You have a manual fuel, you connect the hose to a regular faucet. This is the fuel hose, it's a low pressure fuel hose. You open the faucet, the washer is gonna start filling. When you reach the desired level, there is a minimum and a maximum water level. When you reach the level you desire, you just close the faucet. The control timer is very simple. You have the wash time up to 10 minutes that you can select any time you want, even in between the indicators and the drain position. When you activate the drain to the left, the drain pump will activate and empty the tub. So you can reuse the wash water if you want to wash a second or even a third load so you can save the suds or you can rinse as many times as you want. This washer is not fully automatic. The only automatic part it has is the timer that will stop the agitation. Okay, let me show a dry agitation. That's a dry agitation. Of course, we don't recommend you start the washer with no water because it can damage some internal components. It has a detergent dispenser that's optional to use. You can use this, this, this dispenser to dissolve the detergent if you want. And it has this washboard that helps to squeeze the water out of the clothes when the wash is done. Or if you need to rub something, you can use this as a washboard. It's plastic, but it's very sturdy. It's also removable. Okay, today we're gonna wash two extra large pants. They're very big. They're huge. And we're gonna wash two of them. Please note, this is only a demonstration, so I'm not going to use lots of detergent. I'm going to put just a little bit of detergent so you can see it washing. These clothes are clean. It's only for demonstration. So I'm going to make a super short cycle, a two minute wash, and then proceed with the rinse. I'm already filling the washer with water. It's connected to an exclusive uh, faucet I have here, but that is not mandatory. It comes with the adapter to connect to any regular kitchen or bathroom faucet, but if you want, or if your kitchen has a pull-out hose faucet that doesn't allow connecting the adapter that comes with the washer, you can just pull the hose and manually fill the washer as you wish, like I'm doing here, with a regular pull-out hose. If you want to use the detergent dispenser, when the washer is filling, you can pour the detergent in the dispenser. It's going to partially dissolve the detergent before it can reach the clothes. I'm using very little detergent, 
as it's only a demonstration and it makes no sense to waste detergents that could be harmful for the environment so I'm using just a little bit it's like one third of the dose one would normally use the ideal dose for this washer is line one for normal clothes or line two if the clothes are very dirty and you can just pour the detergent in the dispenser or if you prefer you can pour the detergent straight in the tub and let's wait until it reaches the ideal water level okay I reached the water level that I consider ideal for this load so I'm using the minimum water level as I'm only washing two pairs of pants it took forever to fill because I was using a really low water pressure because I didn't want the water noise to disturb the video let me close the lid I'm going to select four minutes as it's only a demonstration and we can see it in action This fabric is a little bit waterproof, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer to get wet, but it will get wet. Actually, it is already wet. And as you can see, the washer is very silent. When this washer is brand new, like this unit, it's normal to hear a noise that's a little bit louder but that's because of the brand new parts that are still adjusting after the breaking period approximately three or four loads it will be much more silent I'll leave it open so you can see the wash action It looks aggressive, but it's actually very gentle. It's vigorous to remove the dirt, but not vigorous enough to damage the most delicate items. Of course, for delicate items, we're going to select shorter cycles. You can hear in the video a hissel. That's normal, as I mentioned before. That's normal when the washer is new. That's actually the third seal hissing. Intentionally, I picked up this washer that is brand new, I just unboxed it to make sure I'm very clear showing the hissel. And if I want, of course, I can add more water anytime I want, as everything is manual. I'm using the minimum water level because I'm washing only two pants, two pairs of pants. So it doesn't make sense to use a full water level that wouldn't be good for the environment, wouldn't be good 
for my wallet. I would be wasting water, so it doesn't make sense. But if I had a bigger load, of course, I would use more water. Different from high efficiency machines that you have a full load, you can see the washer needs more water and it doesn't fill with water enough for a proper washing. And after I'm done and I want to drain the washer, I just need to switch the timer to the drain position. A drain pump will pump all the water out of the washer. When it is done, I have to turn the pump off by switching the timer to the off position. When the washer is completely empty, you're gonna hear a noise caused by the air entering the pump. So I can just switch it off and I can refill the washer with fresh water and start rinsing. The ideal time for rinsing is between two and four minutes. After the washer shuts off, drain the water, if you wish, you can do a second rinse or even a third rinse if it's needed. During the final rinse, if you want, while the washer is filling with water, you can pour some fabric softener or even vinegar in the dispenser. The laundry alternative Poseidon was tested and designed to withstand hot water, household laundry additives, including bleach and oxybleach, vinegar, and even old school additives like borax and washing soda.